Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a guide on the knife guy and great guy boss fight. So these guys are going to jump at you as soon as you head out of Booster's Tower. And yeah, you have to fight both of them at the same time. Uh, this is the first fight where we are going to have Bowser alongside us. Bowser has a lot of HP and defense, so he is a great character to use just to um, be able to absorb blows as you're figuring out the fight. Um, his damage isn't exactly the best, but I'm going to use him just because he's like really cool. But um, there are two new weapons you can grab in Booster's Tower as well, which will help to up the damage for like Mario and Bowser. Um, as usual, I will be starting the fight with, like, uh, Malo, because I'm trying to get the Thought Peaks on every single enemy and boss in the game, and I don't want to miss any of the, uh, Thought Peaks on the boss. So, yeah, going to go ahead and focus on doing that. But, uh, once we finish that, I'm going to be, uh, switching out Malo. And meanwhile, <laughs> oh, and he, he does die, unfortunately. Uh, could have healed him, but, you know, I'll be alright. It works out all the same. Um, I am focusing Great Guy, because, uh, yeah, just focusing down one boss obviously means we're going to be able to get through the fight faster. So, going to go ahead and do that. Um, I did bring Gino in, because, uh, awesome in this remake, you are able to swap out, uh, party members, even if they're, like, they have a status ailment, like, they're asleep, or even when they're defeated. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the special gauge attack here um these attacks do change depending on who your team is made up of and yeah this one is going to allow us to attack both of the bosses at the same time and it buffs all of the party members so it is a very powerful attack um that does allow us to defeat great guy only leaving knife guy so yeah knife guy does uh more physical damage but again this isn't a game where if you have the perfect timing on guards, then you take no damage. So, yeah, not really uh, that big a deal. Um, getting the timing on these blocks is definitely not the easiest, but it's not necessary. Especially if you're using, like, Geno Boost. If you uh, do get the timing on that, and that window is a lot bigger than some of the other windows, then you also get a defense boost. And, yeah! <laughs> Not gonna have to worry about damage too much, huh? Easy peasy boss fight, not a problem. So, uh, that is the boss fight itself. So, if that's all you need, you are good to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I got the weapons that I was using in that boss fight. Like, right here, we're gonna go ahead and jump off. Uh, I try to do it on that, uh, like, yellowish tile on the left side. And just jumping forward ever so slightly. Because, yeah, the Masher is a very, very strong weapon for Mario. Like, coming over from that uh, Koopa shell he was using before. Like, that is a 20 damage increase. And then over here, this is where we're going to get the weapon for Bowser. So, to do this, you need to make sure and grab uh, all these guys in the right order. So, just do the same thing that I'm doing. Yeah, I think it was... Uh... Yeah, right there, and then that guy, there we go. So there's the key, doors right there, not even a problem. And yeah, remember to respect your elders. Because <laughs> yeah, the way you're supposed to figure that out, uh, in the very first room in Booster Tower, there are all those uh, posters of all the like Booster Elders or whatever. And then yeah, right here, we're going to equip the Chain Chomp on the Bowser. And yeah, his attack power actually started out kind of nice but with a chain chomp that's an additional 10 right off the bat all right and then uh here's another item here like this one isn't like super necessary but is really really good uh these are the zoom shoes um so in this room essentially the way this works is some of the tiles have um enemies on them and you will be forced to fight them if you step on the wrong tiles so the coins show you the tiles that you are able to jump onto. Um, obviously, it becomes a lot harder once you've already jumped on the tiles. Um, there is a little bit of uh, wiggle room as well. It isn't uh, one for one. So as long as you're jumping about where um, I'm jumping, you should be fine. So just make sure to watch that. And then, yeah, right there, there are the zoom shoes. 
Because um, there are some enemies that you can't really fight because they will always run away because of how fast they are. So I highly recommend putting the zoom shoots on someone that already has higher speed. Like I was looking at Bowser, but Bowser's speed is super slow versus with Geno, we can get that speed up to 45 and that is going to allow us to take some turns we wouldn't be able to normally. And then the last thing I just wanted to show in this guide real quick is there's a bonus fight with Booster. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this fight, but you know, if you want to do all the fights in the game, if you're trying to get all the thought peaks, then yeah, here's a fight right here. Um, it is it is a bit of an exchange because if you do this boss fight, then you get a flower jar as the prize uh, defeating it. Flower jars are definitely really nice. It gives you more FP. I really like uh, grabbing those items but if you correctly hide because yeah you have to be caught three times to go into this boss fight but yeah if you correctly hide the whole way through and um knock the little mario doll down then you will get booster's charm or booster's breach i forget what it was called but yeah that item is a really good uh accessory that reduces elemental damage by half it's very very good mind you there is an item you'll be getting soon for Peach that I think does the same thing. So it isn't necessarily something you have to get, but at the same time, um, the Nature's Charm, I think, the uh, accessory for Peach, only she can use it. Whereas with uh, Booster's Charm, I believe anyone can. So there is that difference there. As for this boss fight itself, like, yeah, there are the three Sniffets. They're not a super big deal. Um, they can all be defeated very fast, just like the regular Sniffets throughout the uh, tower. But, um, yeah, you have to defeat them before you can fight Booster. He is completely untargetable um, until that point in time. Like, I accidentally did an extra Thought Peak because I was trying to target Booster, but uh, he wasn't targetable yet. But um, he is also not really uh, that crazy. Like, yeah, he has 800 HP, he is weak to jumps. Um, it seems like a lot of HP, but, like, Knife Guy who we just fought, I think he had, like, 900, and then, you know, he has an ally that also has, like, I think 600 HP. So, yeah, really not that big a deal. Um, he does do good damage, you saw that he did knock out, a uh, Malo there. But since we have multiple party members and we can just switch to them, uh, that being Juno here, not too big a deal. And then, yeah, the damage that we can put out is quite high. Um, just like before in the previous fight, I do highly recommend using Geno Boost. Like, getting that attack and defense up is just really good. And yeah, right there, 215. Like, the dude has 800 HP. Mario can do 215 damage with Geno Boost. So essentially, if Mario can attack four times, that's the fight. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. We're just going to, yeah... <laughs> Just gonna attack with what we got, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be my guide. Hopefully you all found this useful uh, Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace